this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create that nice dreamy soft focus look that many professional portrait artists create in their portraits. This effect works well on not just human portraits but also on animal portraits and for this reason I've brought out a photograph of my dog which is black. Okay so first thing we have to do is we need to duplicate this layer so that we've got two versions in the layer palette. And we can do that either by a keyboard shortcut of Control plus J, which automatically creates a new layer called layer 1, or if we undo that one. We can also go right-clicking on the background layer and then click Duplicate Layer from the pop-out box. And this way, it asks us to name our layer. Now we could just click OK and have it called Background Copy, but for this for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to call it Gaussian Blur because that's the name of the filter that I'm going to use to create this effect. I click OK. OK, so now I'll go up to the Filter menu, go down to Blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. OK, and this slider here controls how much blur we want from virtually nothing all the way up to 250%, which means there's hardly anything left of the image. We can have a value of about 20, which is about right for this image. It will depend on the resolution of your photograph as to how much you want, so don't assume that 20 is going to work for every photograph that you use. I'm going to click OK. Now you might think, OK, this is a bit too much of a blur for me, but it's certainly soft, but bear with me. In the Layers palette, we have this Opacity box here, and currently it's set to 100%, but if we click on this little uh, arrow here, we get a slider, which we can change the opacity of. This changes it down to zero, so now it's not having any effect at all, or back up to 100%. We're going to set this down to about 40. Click OK. So now you can see we've got this kind of soft, dreamy focus effect on our image. But I'm going to finish this off by just sharpening up those eyes because I think that's one area where it needs to be nice and clear. So to do that I'm going to add a layer mask to this um, layer. So by clicking on this little icon at the bottom next to the FX or it might be just an F depending on what version of Photoshop you've got. Uh, you've got this little icon here with a circle in the middle of it and as you see, as I hold my cursor over it, it says Add Layer Mask. I don't know if you can actually read that on this video. If you click on that, it'll add a layer mask here. Um, this layer mask enables you to paint out part of the effect or part of this layer. So by getting a, a brush, and uh, we want it to be about, yeah, a bit bigger maybe. About that size, yeah, that'll do, and make it really nice and soft. Okay, opacity of 100%, that's fine. And we'll just, just paint in this eye region here, and as you can see, at least I hope you can on this video, the eye has now reverted to its full sharpness. And I'm going to just do a bit on the nose as well, let's make it a bit bigger and bring the opacity down a little bit. And we'll just paint over the nose area because that's another photo another focal point with a pet portrait. You probably wouldn't do that on a human portrait. Right, okay, so there we are. Now, I don't know how well this focus in effect or soft focus effect is going to show up on this video, um, but practice with yourself and you'll, on your own images and you'll see how useful it is. So here's the before. In fully sharp all over and there's the after. All I need to do now is to flatten the image and save it. Okay. <laughs> For more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop why not visit my website at www.sally-jane.co.uk